One of the oldest turn-based strategy games known to man, the game of chess, dates back almost 1500 years, originating in India as early as the 6th century. Fast forward to the 20th century and the future of real-time strategy games is here now. But how can you use the arts of a 1500 year old game to improve in a modern real-time strategy game? In chess, you need to have solid knowledge of key openers as the first few moves can set the board up for success or failure. Whether you go for a queen's gambit or more in the line of a Karo Khan defense. This is exactly the same as any RTS game. Mastering the opening few minutes of a match to nail the perfect timings and building the most efficient build order will set you up for a big advantage moving into the late game. Controlling the center of the map gives your pieces an advantage over the opponent's pieces as you have so much more room and direction to assault from. And the same goes for strategy games. If you have control and vision of the center of the map, you are able to spot and launch attacks from strategic central vantage points. Losing the king equals losing the game. Same goes for losing important pieces like a queen. Same in any RTS game, you need to protect the king. Losing a crucial spellcaster or hero unit can put your army in a big disadvantage compared to the enemy. Professional chess players can plan up to 8 moves ahead. Average players has the capability to think 3 or 4 moves ahead. In RTS games, you need to act the same way. And this all links back to scouting what your opponent is doing. And when you scout your enemy's base, you need to think what potential units he is planning to produce and what build he is going for and what you need to produce to counteract this. Whenever you are able to grab an enemy piece for free or even when you notice you have a weak point in your own defensive structure, you need to attend to that immediately. Same in any RTS game. If you see an opportunity where the opponent has a building or a few units that can be killed without resistance, grab it. The small victories can lead to a major win in the war. Every piece in chess has a special and unique move that they can execute, whether it is a pawn that can move straight but eat diagonally or the queen that can move in any direction any amount of spaces so does each and every unit in an rts game either they have strong points or weak points or special casting abilities that you need to know you need to know them study them and understand each unit what to cast and what to produce to counter enemy compositions having a strong opening build in chess can set up for a strong mid game but if you don't have that knowledge to finish with a strong end game tactics to spot and to put the enemy's king in checkmate that puts all that hard work to waste. Same in any RTS game, you need to know what is your goal for the late game, your unit composition you want to build to and how you're gonna deliver that final blow. The game of chess has so much more similarities to the RTS game genre than you think and has way more followers and a much bigger player base any given time. You can learn so much from playing the game of chess and following grand masters. But do you know the shocking truth of the RTS game genre? You can find out in this video that I'm leaving you now.